Hello, my most gorgeous, beautiful light baby. This is a very trying time for a lot of us. And we're feeling the crunch, not necessarily outside of us, but inside, internally. This is why I have said to my feelers, my clairsentience, you must learn to love and soothe the feeler that you are. Today marks a very big full moon, as many of the full moons have been big. <laughs> Lots have been sh has been shifting. Mother Earth today actually begins her ascension path. She is on the path and she is ascending. And when something like the weight of the world shifts in a different direction, my feelers are going to feel it. So a lot of us are feeling anxiety, not sure what's going on. And we're trying to use all of our abilities to know, to listen. And we can't seem to find relief, peace. And that is what war does. War is going to be a constant state of conflict and chaos. And as Spirit called this the year of war back in October and November of 2021. March 18th, 2022, we are reminded truly of what the internal battle is. We are tired. Many lifetimes we've been on guard. This lifetime itself, it's been a big one. Calm seas do not make a seasoned sailor. But you've already been through all of the turbulence many lifetimes. And this is the calm this is the calm. Why? Because if you've been paying attention, Spirit says this is truly the year of truth and clarity. And in order to step away from the internal battle, we cannot push against. We cannot pull. We cannot stress. It is killing us. In times of conflict and chaos, the only thing and the best thing that we can do is to soothe. Take a breath in. Breathe in through your nose. And hold this breath knowing you are right where you are meant to be. Open your mouth and exhale, letting go of all of the needs to do anything at all. Soothe, soothe, soothe. Take another breath in through your nose, deep, deep, deep into your being, feeling your body respond to your choice to soothe and hold that breath. And open your mouth and slowly exhale, letting go. It feels so good to let go during times of conflict and chaos. And then we breathe again because that is what we naturally do. Inhale. And breathing in and holding that breath, holding that breath. Soothe. Soothe. And opening your mouth and slowly exhaling, letting go. Soothe, soothe, soothe. 
You can even say the word out loud over and over and your energy will obey. One final breath, breathe in through your nose. Deep into your being and understanding that this battleground is filled with ease. Peace, open your mouth and exhale. Knowing that it feels better to soothe. 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 As you go outside today and you tackle your world, Keep in mind that you are on the outside, that the masses are in battle, and they don't know, some of them do, and that is their free will, but it does not feel good to step into the masses because we will lose our footing. Don't get sucked into the crazy. Observe it. No. That that individual, that group, that place, that thing, simply needs to soothe. 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 Allowing life to balance and settle and shift and live. Knowing that this energy will always be moving forward, expanding, because that is what life is naturally. Soothing is natural. It will always connect you to your natural state. Allow yourself to explore and enjoy what being in ease is. I love you like baby more than you know. Remember, stop forgetting. Remember, life is present. Love is real. And you are gold.